What's up everyone, it's your boy. I'm in a fantastic mood today because I get to do what I love every single day and that is talk about pendulums. What a, what an amazing life, <laughs> right? So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a special pendulum secret, uh, a special trick. I've done so in the last few weeks. Every week I posted one secret. I do it usually just on my Patreon, but on my Patreon I also reserve that for like gameplay knowledge. Uh, so I want to show you guys on YouTube as well. Just a little trick here and there. I have like a thousand up my sleeve. To help you guys to add to your arsenal of tricks with the deck. So whenever you're in a tough position, I'll help you out with the deck. So if you guys want to learn more about Pendulum, sign up on Pendulum Training where I talk about this all the time. Check out people at True Game, play my TripGaming.com because that's where literally all my knowledge comes from. I just play in a playmat, Trip Game cloth playmat that feels like godly, goldness, greatness. That's not even a word, but that's okay because it's the best deck, best mat. So get yours on TripGaming.com. And with that being said, smash the subscribe button. And I'm going to show you guys right now a special secret with Pendulums. Let's go. So, as you guys see over here, the secret, we already resolved Sayuja. Sayuja, by the way, you must play. All right, if not for Sayuja, my hand absolutely is blue. I couldn't do anything. So, secret number one, play Sayuja. Secret number two. Now, uh, without Sayuja, my board is absolutely blue. Uh, desired, banish away all my mastery targets with the exception of Mighty Master. So, one Mighty Master left. Chronograph, as time gaze, uh, time, uh, time gaze is already gone. What do I do? What do you do in this situation? The extra deck, I have Mighty Master and Chronograph. Reflection was already summoned this turn. Mighty Master and Chronograph. What do I do? What do I do in this situation? Uh, the cards I drew from Sayuja were really, really bad. I had to put them back. Sorry, sorry. These are the cards I drew off Sayuja, but the cards that I had with Sayuja before my hand were all useless, like double ups. Like I had a lot of two ups in my hand, like a second desires, like a second swap of cards, stuff like that. So this is a situation. I have a Millennium as in my graveyard. What would you do now? What would you do? What would you do here? What would you do to uh, put up the most negates? So I'm gonna show you guys a special trick that ensures it. So what would you do? Would you uh, special jackal so it can hold counters? Would you special a jackal? Maybe go mastery, you gotta, like, let it hold counters, and then summon mighty masters from your hand. W would you do that? That's a solid play, right? That's a solid play. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the absolute best play here. So I'm gonna actually use Sayuja to summon mighty master. Uh, I'm gonna save jackal to put my low skill. A lot of you guys would have summoned the jackal right away, right? That, that would be very bad. I'm gonna use mastery to summon mighty master. Now here's a trick. And by doing this one trick alone, it's gonna literally save my entire hand. So I'm gonna use that trick to put one counter on Mighty Master. Did you guys hear that? People don't understand that Spell Power and Mastery can add a counter on Master. Because Master does not gain a counter by a spell card being activated, it does not mean that Master cannot hold a counter for Spell Power and Mastery's effect. When Spell Power and Mastery is activated, it said, and then add spell counters among cards you control that you can hold spell counters on. Master has a month as an effect that it can ho specifically hold counters. So mastery's effect physically puts one counter on master, not two counters, because master doesn't gain a counter when a spell card's activated. But master's spell power, mastery's effect can hold a counter on master. So by using a trick with uh, so you just summoning it first before I do anything, I hold that one counter. That one counter, that one counter that is on master, that one counter for mastery, that one counter. It's literally going to save my entire duel. If you look at my opponent's hand here, he has Doomer on Network, a Numer on Calling, which could resolve for a second time. He has another card. He get another spell card here. He has another one of this. I'm going to need counters. I don't know what he has, obviously, but he has lots of spells I'm going to need to negate. But this is looking pretty uh, uh, not good. So I'm going to put the Mighty Master in my scale there. I'm not going to summon uh, those all these cards out. I'm going to summon Double Chronograph and a Mighty Master. I'm now going to summon out a Selene. And now if you look at how many spells I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight spell counters. So I'm gonna use all eight counters to summon out a Millennium as a strict. At this point, now great, I have a monster negate. I'm not gonna use my mighty master from my hand to pop that. I wanna hold a jackal. If you didn't do that, you wanna have something in there, right? Uh, and I'm gonna uh, so you can have, for next turn to have some cards you can pen summon. So if it's not for that card to bring out, if I didn't have enough to bring the Millennium Eyes, in fact, I could have even popped the Jackal if I wanted to and saved the Millennium Eyes. I could have saved the Millennium Eyes and I'd have one extra negate. But being my only monster negate, I didn't feel it was good enough. So I'm going to go Kashi Vortex, bring out the Millennium Eyes again, Selene. So what I could have done was pop the Jackal and have a Millennium Eyes here. But I also knew that uh, I, I might have not want that, uh, so I opted not to. So... You guys see that Mighty Master here? I opted, to, like I said, to have a, a Jackal over a Millennium Eyes uh, because I knew Mighty Master would bounce in my hand, so I'll have scales for next turn. So uh, ensuring that I have scales for next turn. If I did not do that, then I don't have scales for next turn. And because everything on my extra deck will be high level, it'll be important to have a low scale in Jackal. So now, well, by, look, by doing that play that I said, the trick, 
But I didn't do that trick where mastery held that one counter on the master. My, none of my three mighty masters would be able to resolve. Do you guys understand that? So this mighty master and this mighty master will not be able to resolve because nothing will be holding counters in the field. Does that make sense? Because this one mighty master holds one spell counter, I now have three spell negates on my field. So he's going to go off the Bad News Planet Pathfinder. I say go ahead. You get another Numeron Network. He activates this. I let it resolve. I let it resolve. I just don't want Zexel to resolve. Uh, I don't care about boss stage resolving. I just don't want Zexel to resolve. So what do I do? I negate the Numeron Network uh, with my Mighty Master in defense. So I go Chainlink 2, Mighty Master, Chainlink 3, uh, Selene. And now I bring out the Mighty Master as well. Now he puts up another Numeron Network and he activates Numeron Calling from hand. He's able to do so because he hard drew the Numeron Calling. Now I do Numeron Calling and I use my Vortex Dragon. So I use my other Mighty Master. So now if I didn't do that, none of these two spell negates would have even resolved. He would have, his Zexa would have resolved and cleared my entire field. He would have four cards on here that would literally one by one get like 4,000 attack each and destroy my field. If I didn't do that special play. And now he's going to activate boss stage. And now I don't care. Now my turn, I have Vortex and this left. My turn comes around, he activates that, I negate it with Mighty Master, I negate the Vortex, and I win the duel. If I didn't do that one play, that hold, held a spell counter on that one Master, none of my Masters were resolving. And especially in a hand that did not have Servant or Reflection or Mighty or Abductor in the scale, for Mighty Master to even resolve, you must utilize the trick to ensure that your Mighty Master has a spell counter. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. If I didn't do that as well, I didn't, wouldn't have enough spell counters either. So we fully resolved it. And we're able to Pendulum Summon because we have a low scale. We saved our scales in the process. And still have three cards in our hand because you recognize that Mighty Master bounce cards in your hand. So that's a little trick there. Utilize Spell Power Mastery for awkward hands to hold spell counters on Master if you need be in order for Master to always have negates if you don't have Servant of Dr. Reflection to hold spell counters on because Mighty Master cannot bounce back Selene. That's the trick. I'm gonna show you guys my updated deck list, unless if you guys have missed it already. This is my updated deck list, super turbo-like. Uh, very, very, very good, specifically for this meta. Triple Jester Conference, Double Wonder One are the big changes in reasoning. I threw them all in there because you want more than just 40 cards. Playing 43 allows you to play Desires twice, so it's actually very good for your deck to play 43. Uh, playing 43 also ensures you don't hard draw Double Desires or hard draw Double Mastery. It's less of a chance. Your cards get like thrown up at a different, uh, what's the math term? What's the math term? You know, you learn in probability. Different, uh, Triff math is missing my head here. It's like brain fart. Like, fuck, what is it? It's like, you know, that thing. Okay, so connotations or something? Permutations! Let's go, baby! Permutations! Let's fucking go! I got it! For different permutations in your deck. Where if you just have 40, you have a much higher likely chance to draw double desire, double mastery. You're like, double restage. You're like, you know, like now it puts everything, they're double spawn cards. Now that you have a little more cards in your deck, it fluctuates the probability of drawing the exact same cards. You don't want double souls, stuff like that. Wonder Wand is also very good in this specific format. There's lots of monster negates in this format that don't destroy the card. Florida Lees, Imperm, Droplet, etc., etc. So Chalice even, let them do that. Let them negate your Blue Boy. You want all the extenders to make sure it resolves, and you want Wonder Wand for that reason. Because you go Blue Boy effect, negate. No problem, Wonder Wand. <laughs> no problem, you know? Then go Crowley after that, draw two more with Knowledge. So it's a, a specific meta call. And uh, one Jackal, because N Nibiru is not huge as format anymore. Worst, worst, worst case scenario, desires banish the Jackal, you don't give a shit. Because, uh, yeah, you just don't need it. You have Appaloosa and Vortex anyways, so it's like you already have more than enough monster negates. Actually not required at all. But the fact that you have Servant Souls, you already have enough ways to get the Jackal out of your deck before desires. So one's all you need. But you still gotta ensure you play three Mighty Master and one Reflection. To ensure that uh, you have enough level sevens for vortex, and because you dropped the jackal and you're only playing four level sevens, you're playing a 43 card deck to throw way more level ones in there. Reasoning is much more likely to be uh, resolve and be very good for your deck, and it's also very good when it sends a restage. So that's the updated list. Uh, I threw in a Soyuja as well and played some Mascarina. Uh, yeah, Mascarina and Unicorn. Is that a Mascarina and Unicorn? I put in yeah, Mascarina and uh, Soyuja and Appaloosa. So Appaloosa is very good. Uh, it's, it's like the extra interruption that is not. Uh, Selene or Vortex or Jackal or Mighty Master, Appaloosa is there for you. Uh, better than Masquerade in my opinion. And uh, so Yusha is very important for that reason I just showed. You're playing 10,000 extenders. Look how many extenders you're playing. There's gonna be a lot of times so Yusha is gonna be re absolutely required to ensure you get a bigger board. And because you're playing so many extenders to draw into, uh, so you after Yusha resolve, you still get a crazy board. And post side deck, you need to make sure so Yusha is in your deck 
for a restage of my hand to resolve. This is a side deck that's very good for this specific meta. And that's the video. I hope you guys liked the video. This trick, make sure to check out the trick so you can use it yourselves. And guys, we're almost 32,000 subscribers. So smash the subscribe button, baby! Let's go. And if you guys love pendulums, don't forget to get a beautiful trip game playmat on tripgaming.com. The two much of my cloth mats are almost sold out. We only have a limited edition of them. Go check it out. I'll see with the triple action cloth mats. They're almost sold out. And sign up Pendulum Training if you want to learn more tricks like this one. Hope you like the video. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.